In Affinity Photo, how to fill a shape with a gradient. There's a few ways of doing this, PC or Mac. Use any shape, I'm just gonna go with the rectangle, so rectangle tool, create the shape, and you can see it's filled with a solid color at the moment. Well, you can go up here, just to the fill, and click there, and you've got swatches. You also got gradient, but personally, I prefer to go with swatches, and select a gradient from here, any of them. So click that one, and there it is, filled with a gradient. We'll soon say that one, filled with a gradient, and so on. Once you've got that, you can then go to the gradient tool and you can manipulate that backwards and forwards. Now with another shape, so let's create that. You can fill it also with a gradient. Just go over here with the gradient tool. As long as the shape is selected, just drag and it will be filled with a gradient using this default color. Now it might be white or black, green and black, etc., etc. The key thing is make certain the context up here is set to fill. Now sometimes it might not work. It might fill the entire document. Don't know why, but a good solution, I think, is to, with this shape selected, just go up to select and selection from layer. So it'll create a selection man. You can see the marching ants around that shape. Then go to the gradient tool, click there, and now apply the gradient again. Another option, just go over here to the layers, go to effects, click there, then go to gradient overlay. Just click, make certain that's turned on and it's highlighted and you've got all the options here. So you can click here for gradient and then you can double click, double click and add some stops, change the colors. So maybe go for red and you can see that will change the color of this shape. And it's a gradient as well. You can also modify it then, go to elliptical, radial, etc. But also you've got the option of over here, you've got a plus. So you can click there and you can add another gradient overlay and then add a change of color. So click there and tweak this and modify this. And also once you've done that, you can go up here to blend modes and just say multiply, difference, etc. And you can see you can run through and you can combine the gradients in multiple ways. And of course you can add more than one gradient on top of this shape and close. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.